Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss now the MUF and the derivation of MUF. So as we have earlier discussed about the critical frequency, now we should have to know what is MUF. So MUF is maximum usable frequency. So as the name itself says maximum usable frequency. Let us suppose we are having the two points. This is the transmitter section and this is the receiver section and I am having this ionospheric layer and if I transmit a signal uh, in the sky wave propagation with the help of uh, TIR it will uh, get back to the same medium. Okay. So it will get back to the earth only to the receiver. So it is the frequency that can be used from the TX section or we can say the transmitter uh, by which our uh, signal can be received at RX. So it is the maximum frequency. Okay. If I just uh, uh, increase the value of frequency from the greater than MUF, then our uh, sky wave propagation will get uh, faded and it will go in the space wave propagation. Because you know the, the value of uh, sky wave propagation is up to uh, 2, 2 megahertz to 30 megahertz. Okay. So we have to just take the FMUF to the highest maximum usable frequency that is uh, approximately equals to 30 megahertz. Okay. So now as we have uh, discussed the MUF, now we have to know the second law. Second law and uh, we have to know later on the, uh, the skip distance and the FMUF derivation. Okay. So now the second law it will be uh, included in the uh, relation between FMUF or you can say the maximum usual frequency and skip distance. So before moving further, we have to know the value of skip distance. What is skip distance basically? So skip distance is the basically a distance between the transmitter and receiver up to which our uh, the uh, the kind of communication can be possible or we can say the sky wave propagation communication is possible. So it is the skip distance. Okay. Now I am just drawing this figure here. Uh, I am having this transmitter. I am having this receiver and if I just let us suppose here I am having the ionosphere. Okay. So it will just uh, get back to the receiver. So it is basically our skip distance that is D. I am just supposing it to the D and this is the maximum height that I am uh, supposing it. It is H. Okay. So if I just uh, draw the distance from here to here, it will just be now let us suppose this will be D by 2 because it is the middle point. So D by 2 it will be here and uh, with the help of Pythagoras theorem it will become D by 2 square plus H square under root. So this this distance will become this. Okay, now uh, this is the I. Now I'm just supposing it like uh, I'm just taking the cos I. Cos of I equals to we will get uh, the value of base upon hypotenuse. The base is H under root H upon under root D by 2 square plus H square. Okay, now this is our equation first. Let us suppose. Now after this equation, what we will get? Uh, we just have to know the next step is to just uh, move further with the value of uh, you know the critical frequency value that we have calculated from the from the value of this uh, mu that is our refractive index. So we have to write the value of mu equals to under root 1 minus 81 n upon f square. So as you know the value of mu is sin i upon sin r using the Snell's law 1 minus 81 n upon f square. So here the r that is the refracted ray will get at the angle of 90 degree. So we will just put the value of uh, r equals to 90 degree. We will get under root 1 minus 81 n upon f square. Now one thing you have to just put down here that n equals to n max or nm you can write f equals to fmuf okay fmuf means the maximum usable frequency okay so this will become sin i because sin i is 1 uh, equals to i'm just taking the square both sides 
and m upon f m u f square now as you know the value of 81 nm or you can say the value of critical frequency it is the 9 under root nm so the same value we will get here so the same value we will get here the 9 under root nm so i i can write it like as okay so uh, after taking the square if we are taking the square here so it will become sin square i equals to 1 minus if i uh, if i put the value here it will become the fc okay fc square okay so it will be become fc square upon f m u f square okay so you can write it as uh, uh, 1 minus sin square i equals to fc upon f m u f to the whole square and we will get the value of cos i equals to fc upon f m u f we can write it as uh, fc equals to cos i of uh, f m u f so this is basically our the second law second law can be asked in uh, the numerical or oh, oh, sorry in the question paper so you can uh, derive the second law okay now using the second law we have to find out the relation between this this uh, skip distance and the f m u f so now what we have to do is uh, as we have just having the we are having the value of cos i from the from this figure that i have calculated earlier so i will put the put down the value of 1 in this second equation so fc equals to it, uh, it was like uh, h upon under root dy2 square plus of uh, it was h square okay cos i into fmuf now i'm taking it fc upon fmuf equals to h upon under root d by 2 square plus h square now just uh, re uh, getting it to the upside like you can change it accordingly so now uh, taking the square root on both uh, sorry uh, taking the square on both the sides so fmuf upon uh, fc to the square equals to we will get the value of uh, d by 2 square plus h square upon h now what we have to do is so now what we have to do is we have to just uh, solve it out so fmuf upon fc to the whole square equals to so d square plus 4h square upon 4h okay now uh, you can write it as uh, after taking the under root of both the sides uh taking the square so it was we have taken the square here so we will write it uh, here it is square so now after uh, uh, taking the under root of both sides so uh, d square plus 1 i can write or uh, d square by 4h square under root okay uh, now i can just uh, write it as uh, fc equals to it can be represented as 1 plus d by 2h to the whole square so this is the basic relation between uh, f m u f and the skip distance it is d okay so uh, you can also write it uh, from the uh, from this equation uh, you can also solve it uh, this is the third equation i can also write it as just again taking the f m u f upon f c square on both the sides 1 plus d by d square by 4 h square okay uh, now then uh, you can just uh, write it out as uh, now you can write it as uh, like uh, uh, d square upon 4 h square equals to f f m u f upon f c to the whole square minus 1 okay now d equals to what it would become d equals to 4h square f m u f upon f c to the whole square minus 1 now taking the square root on the both the sides so i can write it as 2h f m u f upon f c to the whole square minus 1 so this is the this we can uh, also write in terms of uh, the skip distance if we we will be giving an example of uh, or we will be given an uh, kind of numerical 
where we have to calculate the value of skip distance using this FMU, FMU, F and FC. So we can just uh, directly use this formula. So this is the basic relation. Okay. So here we have completed this uh, unit uh, five, and in which we have covered these four important topics. That were the refractive index, then the critical frequency, then the second law, and uh, at the end we have uh, derived the relation between uh, skip distance and the maximum usable frequency. Okay, hope uh, this is clear to you all. And if you are having any kind of doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Okay, thank you so much, everyone.